as we're up at the start now for the Silver Goblets and Nichols Challenge Cup. Hogan and Elworthy on the left-hand side of your screen and on the right-hand side of your screen, O'Donovan and O'Driscoll from Ireland. Quite tricky to get away cleanly in a pair, you know, just one or each, so that any tiny um, difference in power can lead to a swerve. It's not the most stable of boats, and you really just want to get out to full-length rowing, don't you, Sarah, and get confident, get in your rhythm. Uh, pretty aggressive start by the Irish on the right of our screen, O'Donovan and O'Driscoll. I'd expect them to be uh, pretty strong. They had a bye in the first round, so this is their first race at the regatta. Hogan and Ellsworthy on the left of the picture uh, rowed yesterday, beating uh, a crew in a fairly easy win. The crew they beat actually didn't row the race out they had some problems so uh, you can see that lead looking it's probably looking more than it is given the angle of the camera here but they are they are well out the Irish yeah look I think we would expect to see this the former lightweight men's pair from Ireland Marco Donovan and Shane O'Driscoll now turned heavyweight coming in at 80 kilograms so some almost 10 kilos heavier than they were in the lightweight days yeah, uh, probably a much more comfortable life for both of them because you can actually consume uh, quite a few more calories and you can see they probably bulked up a little bit as well with strength um, and lovely rowing for them. Look at that beautiful afternoon for them to be sitting out in front at this position passing. There's the Remnant Club on the left. There's often an enormous crowd wall for a cr close race there. And you can see they've got uh, a good couple of lengths over um, the crew from... Um, uh, I forgot the club. Uh, from Doncaster, of course. Yes, that's Harry Hogan and Hugo Elworthy. Coming in a bit heavier at 97 kilos as their crew average. They raced on the Sunday of the Metropolitan Regatta and finished fourth in the open pair. So strong club pair here, but racing against two very seasoned international competitors in Marco Donovan and Shane O'Driscoll. Yeah, these two uh, claim in their biographies to be Game of Thrones extras. I'm not sure whether that's true, but they're certainly um, seeking to have the crown in this race with a very clean, um, long, loping stroke rate, just sitting still at the finish, letting the blade push through and swing on to the next stroke. Both of them there, you can see, have got stroke coaches so that they can check that they're rowing the same number of strokes per minute, make sure that they're in time with each other, which is good. And, you know, this race, Sarah, uh, the Silver Goblets, is one of the oldest uh, races here at Henley. Started in 1845. To be part of a tradition like that is quite something. O'Donovan and O'Driscoll, I believe that they're from Skibbereen. They're, of course, right. the O'Donovans, uh, the other O'Donovans in the lightweight men's double skull from Ireland also hail from. They came and spent some time training in Australia last year, all four of these guys. And... Um, I'm sure that they've put this in their bios because they want it read out on TV. So I think given that they're doing so well, we should probably indulge them, even though I know it's not going more, to be not a, more Game of a complete stitch up. But um, apparently Marco Donovan can Irish dance till the cows come home. So uh, we'll see if that's true or not, perhaps later over the weekend. And uh, apparently Shane O'Driscoll is passionate about concrete. There you go. Interesting characters, uh, the pair of them. Now, one thing we should say, well, you know, why would lightweights turn heavyweight, uh, particularly at this time in the Olympic cycle, Sarah? Well, I guess when you have the current Olympic silver medalists from not only your home country but your home club, that uh, making that one lightweight event at the Olympic Games is going to be a pretty difficult ask. So making that switch to heavyweight, but also with lightweight rowing, perhaps not going to be included in the Olympic program following the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Going heavyweight and getting some experience there uh, is perhaps a wise decision. Yeah, they might get a row in the pair in, in Tokyo. They're certainly looking like they're on very good form here today. Henley as they approach the finish line with a very commanding lead over the group of Bronchester. They come down towards the line. It will be Mark O'Donovan and Shane O'Driscoll from Ireland, taking the win in the Silver Goblets and Nichols Challenge Cup. They'll progress through to Saturday, defeating Harry Hogan and Hugo L. Worthy. Strong club pair from Britain.